I'm always up for a challenge. So no matter how big something is, it's going in my mouth and I'm swallowing it. I'm always up for a challenge. So no matter how big something is. <laughs> that boy's time early today. What I would say though, bro, you ever noticed that skinny women are just durable? Uh, they could take a lot of wood for that campfire. Am I the only one that noticed this? Don't sleep now. Some of y'all big girls can't take no... <laughs> bro, someone broke into the whip, bro. Someone broke into the whip. And he'd even f***ing notice, bro. Oh, no. Bro, someone broke into the whip, bro. You know how mad I would be if somebody break into my car and my friend is asleep while the person breaking into my car? And again, you know what? I'm being a bad friend. Maybe him being asleep might have saved his life. Because you never know. When them boys come in for your car, they come in strapped. Maybe it was a good thing he was asleep. Because at the end of the day, I'd rather my friend be alive than have my car, to be honest with you. My car is replaceable. So... Just a question for the women who were, um, you know, fine or thick, popular in high school. How, how everything going? <laughs> More so for the ones that are kind of like over 40. Because, and I'm being messy. I got so tired of being bullied. Mm. In middle school, high school, flat chested, you black, you skinny. Mm -hmm. You know, because y'all had little breasts and y'all had a little something going on. Y'all was thick in the eighth grade. Not knowing that being thick in eighth grade, you don't you gotta really maintain yourself till you maintain yourself. Yeah, you got to maintain that, that shit. Well. <laughs> so, to all my skinny, black, flat-chested girls that was in, you know, middle school, high school. How y'all mm -hmm. doing right now? And all them girls that was thick and fine huh. in middle and high school. That didn't maintain that shit. It. So... If you ain't make fun of nobody, this this ain't for you, all right? But it's a lot of y'all heifers that was making fun of them skinny girls because you had a little bit of cheeks, you know, puberty hitting, you got some cheeks, and you was in there making fun of everybody. Now you at Planet Fitness hogging all the goddamn machines. Listen, I'm going to keep saying it. I know it's about 25,000 of you guys that watch these videos that still haven't subscribed. Hit that subscribe button. Come on now, we almost at 100K, man. We almost at 100K. And follow me on the gram. Follow me on Instagram. From the moment you arrive at your hotel here in Kelly, they will tell you, do not walk around with your cell phone out or your camera like I am right now because it is extremely dangerous here. If they told you not to walk around with your cell phone or your camera, why are you doing it? This is short bus behavior. As a thief, I would feel disrespected if I'm riding around on my bike and I see you on your damn phone. Now, I'm not saying I'm a thief, but if I was a thief riding around in Colombia on my bike, I'll be compelled to rob you. They're gonna take your camera. Now, if you guys have been following this channel for a while, you'll know that we don't really listen to advice. Although we winners probably should be, um, we don't. With that said, we're gonna go to the hood. The that hood. Is the most dangerous hood. I never understand people that go to Colombia and Mexico and these type of places and make themselves victims. All right, it's raining, Thor. Come on. Oh my God. Do it. Don't. Oh my God. Prove it. Work. Prove it. What the? All right, it's raining, Thor. Come on. Oh my God. Do it. Don't. That's fake. That's fake. The acting was on point, the special effects was on point, but I refuse to believe it. This, this bitch is not an airbender. Did you do some sauce Yeah, I put on good muscle mass over this last year. You just need to do some cardio. Yeah. A little bit. Yeah, that's what I did. You lose like 20 pounds. Yeah. All right, hold on. You obviously trying to pick her up. The last thing you want to do is say, oh, you do have some size. Ain't no way you get in the drawers after you telling her she need to run, bro. That's not a compliment. Y'all need to just let these women work out, bro. Just leave them alone. Too far. Yeah. You get to like 180. Yeah. 24 pounds. Yeah. That's doable. That's doable, yeah. You just need to be in a deficit. Really? Is that how you lose weight? Well, you know, obviously, yeah, you, know, you gotta eat less than what you're burning and shit. Really? Well, the drinking. I know. It's probably Whoa. Whoa. Like, you're holding probably a shit ton of water, so. If I had to guess. Hmm. And maybe not drinking enough water. Oh, really? You don't have to eat less, just eat clean. Wow. Yeah, I got 
I, I see this all the time when I go to the gym. Female in there working out, and some random guys just gonna go up to her and start giving advice. I be seeing fat is trying to give females that are in shape advice. That don't make any sense. I'm gonna be honest with you now, fellas. Before you approach a woman in the gym, I want you to look yourself in the mirror and ask yourself, do I deserve to get some pussy? And these are questions I've been asking myself, because I'm not going to lie, I've put on some weight. And I honestly do feel as though if you don't have the discipline to get yourself in shape, you don't deserve no pussy. All right, man, I'm going to finally let you drive the big body, man. I get to drive? Yeah, man. Come on, you get to drive. Come on. Come on, come on. <laughs> now we're going to drive Big Daddy. All right, I know you ain't never been in nothing like this, so this how you crank it up. You got to go on right here. Oh. Oh. Wait. oh, she done put it in track mode. Alright, so put it in drive. She done put it in manual. That's, that's him, that's manual. That's, that's not drive. Some of y'all may not know what's going on. If your girl get in your car, and she get in your SRT, and put it in track mode, then put it in manual, somebody show her how to do that. Okay. She better not slide that bitch. Wait, hold on, wait, 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 stop, 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 wait, stop, stop. What, why are you using those? The what are you, those are pattern shifters, why are you using those? Where you learn that from? Along the way. Hey, you finna have to find you a ride along the way. <laughs> I feel Come it, on. bro. Hey, go over here, I yeah, yeah. No, 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 park over here. What's so, up, wh where'd you, where'd you learn that? Um, along the way. Yeah, you finna okay, find you a ride along the way. Get out, hey, get, this is Come on. What's this? It's so nosy. So why did your ear still work during track mode? Oh, what she you know mean? too much. The ear shouldn't be blown when it's in track mode. Yeah, go ahead and get out. Why? Yeah, go ahead and get out. Why? Just get out of my car. Yeah, go ahead and get out. Yeah. She know too much, dog. All right. Shorty said, what the hell he doing? Why is the air still blowing into the track mode? Well, I don't have a Hellcat, so I don't know about none of that. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah. If your girl knows a little too much, she been in somebody else's car. That is equivalent to you and your girl going to somebody's house, one of your homeboy's house, and her phone automatically connects to the Wi-Fi. I ain't never had that before. You know, I ain't never seen that. I ain't never experienced that. But I will say, I have experienced a situation where a young lady was at our dorm two Saturdays prior to the get-together, and uh, one of my mans was <laughs> giving those cheeks a standing ovation. And then two weeks later, one of our homeboys showed back up to the crib of her and um, said they've been dating now for about a year. That was quite an interesting turn of events. I will say that. I am so physically attracted to you. That like I know we be out places, I'd be like they better not look, and like even you smelling good, like how you be smelling, it be like. But I feel like God just like when He picked up the dirt and He just thought like, how can I do this? Cause Janita gonna want, you know what I'm saying? And Boy, let me tell you something. If my woman speak to me like that, bro, we having another baby right there. In that car, in that parking lot, we having another baby. She went biblical with it. She said, when God picked up the dirt, I feel as though he was asking himself, how do Janita want this? Bro, your woman get to speaking like that to you, dog. <laughs> and then like, you know, like, remember when you was hugging me yesterday and my face was in between your chest and you did like this and you started squeezing my chin and like I thought I was going to die. Like, it's like for him to even give you strong pectoral muscles. My friend was like, girl, you can't be picky because if God sends you somebody, if he's not this super attractive, like, but are you going to, like, give up all the other good qualities? And I was like, no, you're right. And then here you come, walking across my timeline. But the blessing of being with somebody that you just look at and be like, yeah, God did that. Thank you, Lord. She said, thank you, Lord. It is man that you gave me to make love to all the days of my life after we married. <laughs> he hitting the bottom. Your woman talking to you like that, you hitting the bottom. You know what? 
Hold on now. Let me test the waters right quick because let me test the waters right quick, bro. Hi, husband. Hey, where you at, man? Just got in the house. Come on, one in the car. All right, get, go get your mom. Hey, babe, come down here right quick. Okay, here. Yeah, I need you down here right quick. I'm, I'm finna test the waters, bro. Let me get let me get spiffy. Let me get let me get spiffy. She doing what? Did nobody tell her ass to go to the bathroom? What shut shut it. Go put a shirt on. You walking around here with your your biscuit chest. Come here. Let me ask you a question. Mm. Ooh, it's hot. That's hot, honey. Mm -hmm. That's, oh, you took a shower? Yeah, it's hot. Yeah. You got the hoochie daddy shorts on. Uh, yes. Oh, Lord, yes, ma'am. Let me ask you a question. Mm. How you be feeling when you look at me? <laughs> How do I be feeling when I look at you? Yeah. I be feeling blessed and appreciative. Oh. That's it? I mean, when you cut your hair and them waves be spinning and you have them all black, I'll be like, oh, I seen this video. Oh, this she. <laughs> oh, so but you... no, but then I I went to find her husband, though. <laughs> We're not doing that on camera. Okay. <laughs> oh, my God. You didn't turn. I, I did. The, that was my natural. I said, the way she gasped this. I just got to see. And then I saw, I said, oh, I got to do a better job as a wife. It was 93 petrol? Nigga. It, it was 93? High octane? 100%. Blow the car up. Damn, it was high octane. It was, Jesus Christ. For real? I'm not lying to you. Because once I saw this, I was like, I, her face looked familiar and I remember. That's how I remember. Because I was like, oh, my God. Well, let me, just, for research purposes, let me just see what it's hitting for. And I saw what it was hitting for. And I was like, oh, yeah, I'm in there. <laughs> you got to step nah, your game up. Nah, he probably, folks probably got a third leg. That's probably what's going on. I mean, that's probably what's important to her. So. He, he hitting that bottom. If that's what she like, buddy. Or maybe, you know, he, he's really treating her really well. But I tell you all the time, when the waves are spinning, you got on that all black. And it's just like, I love your eyes. You know, you have beautiful, big brown eyes. Before I even noticed your eyelashes, I noticed your eyes. I love your lips too. And I like your beard, but I love the gold tea because it just like accentuates the lips. This ain't high octane? It's high octane. It's always high octane. No, ga when you gassing, no. When you gassing somebody, it means you gassing. It means it's, it's oh. you're creating false statements. No, no, not. Oh, no. I want to gas you up, but it's coming from a genuine place. So it's like, not high octane. That's not gassing. Oh. Um, Wait, because, okay, baby, we from Brooklyn, and in the 90s, when you say you gassing, like, that's a good thing. You hyping them up. No, gassing has never been a good thing. Gassing means you lying. What part of the 90s you was in? What? Gas. That's a lot. Remember, we used to say gas. Yeah, but sometimes it'd be good when you gas somebody up. You need fuel. Like, how your car gonna drive with no fuel? Like, if you gassing somebody up authentically, that's not a problem. Bro, I don't like the way you're trying to bring logic into this. Gassing means you lying. I'm not lying. You the things that I find attractive about you. I, I'm not saying you. I'm just giving you No, I know, meaning. but I'm saying everything that I said about what I find attractive on you, like physically, I meant. This is my second time arguing with somebody. Who no, argued. I'm a Gemini. I've been like this before I went to college. I'm going to overanalyze and assess the fuck out of something and contextualize it. Degree or non-degree. If you're smart, you're smart. If you think, you think. You have a mind of your own, you have a mind of your own. Just for clarity purposes. Yeah, but y'all be confusing shit. No. Y'all be like y'all be Logic. too y'all be thinking too much. Like stop. You have a negative and a positive. It's polarities to everything. One thing can mean one thing and it can mean another. Bro. For every reaction, it's the opposite and equal reaction, right? Yes. So for every definition, you can flip it and make it mean another thing. Gas, gas. Wow. I can't even put that up there. I can't put the N word on you. I'm sorry. You get it. Just, just, just the check. 
the but truth. But I'm I'm being authentic. Like I'm not. I understand. I understand. Yo, but hold on. Before let me let me ask you this question. Man. This video probably gonna be like thirty minutes long. Let me ask you this question, right? So yes. Today I was having a conversation mm -hmm. with one of the engineers at my job. Mm -hmm. He's twenty. Oh, very young. He's twenty. So we was talking about getting married. I was explaining to him that he shouldn't get married young. He's like, yeah, but what if you find the one? I'm like, listen to me. You're at the age right now. You're not in a relationship. You're not committed to anybody. This is your time to be selfish for you. You can accomplish whatever goals you want to accomplish. You can aspire to do whatever you want to do right now. Once you get in a relationship, it comes with a responsibility. And some of that responsibility may might take you away from things that or take time away from things that you are able to do for yourself right now. How you feel about that? You wanna agree with that? I feel like it's fairly true. Like I, I think it depends on the situation. You know what I'm saying? So you think somebody getting married at twenty one is cool? No, I'm not gonna say like automatically, but certain I think that like I said, it depends on the situation. I think what you said generally is very true. Like he should definitely focus on himself himself like just what does being a man to him even mean like this can he define that what are his core values like what motivates him what drives him what are goals that he wants to accomplish like having those things like you know listed he can verbalize it and then you know he might be dating as he's dating he might have fun you know what i'm saying get some more experience and then while he's having fun and dating if he meets someone you know what i'm saying that he feels like I want to pursue this seriously. And, you know, they pursue any, they dating exclusively. And things, you know, progress and he wants to marry. Then it's like, okay, that's cool. But I do think, like, his... What age do you think would be a good age to get married? I think it depends on the person's mindset, not really the age. Because people could be immature at 30 and they could be... And mature at 25 or mature at 25. I don't think there's like an age. I think that's what I'm saying. Like if you ask him, what are your core values as a human being? And he can't list and them. And he can't up. list them. Then he's, not ready. then he's not ready to get married. Because like his core it. values and then like the woman he's dating, she should have her core values too. And he might even have to ask her that just by like getting to know her. He could see if they're like in alignment with his. Because honestly, if he find the right person, it could motivate him to achieve his goals even quicker. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't have to be a detriment. But I will also ask him what kind of woman, you know, do he want to be with? Like, what's his ideal woman? And how would he want to treat that woman? If mm. he find a woman that meets this criteria, then how would you get her and how would you keep her? Mm. Mm. Like doing that shit. You ask yourself that from time to time? I already got you. But how would you keep her? That's my point. I think about how I could keep you. It's not just about getting somebody. Um, your car. You don't just have your car. You maintain that mother. So when I be feeling guilty about, sometimes I be like, hold up. <laughs> the way he be talking about uh, champagne out there. Guilt free is the way to be. What does champagne, what does she do? No, I'm saying like, you have a level of commitment to that car to maintain her, to keep her pristine. I have a level of you do to too, you. but it's just like I wasn't able to see that expressed until you got your car, and now it's like it's something that you outwardly talk about. It's like I gotta, I gotta get the inside, the interior done. I gotta make sure this. I gotta upkeep, upkeep. That's why I always tell you. I'm like I really see the difference between men and women because for a woman that's something else to another responsibility which like kind of drags her down but it's like it look like men go out and seek more responsibility like you gotta have a gun on you then you get a nicer car that you know increases the likelihood of you possibly having to use that gun and then with having the car you have to maintain it and keep it upright like i'm trying to decrease these responsibilities so i could feel lighter and freer but men is y'all take pride in having more of that responsibility that's what I'm saying. I guess that's why men take pride in having a family because a family is a responsibility. responsibility. That's what I'm saying. So is he even ready for it's levels of responsibility? That's what I was saying too. Like it's a level of responsibility that you got to prepare yourself for. 
If you're not prepared for that responsibility, then you shouldn't even be thinking about getting married. But everything he was describing sound like out of a fairy tale. I'm like, oh, you didn't listen to, you didn't read too many uh, romantic novels in in your time, bro. Like, what's going on? Maybe it could be true. He just got to be willing to like. I knew he was gonna say that because, like, <laughs> I knew he was gonna why, say that. I mean, are you on this? Are you in this world to suffer and not realize your dream? Never. Okay, so it's okay to have goals, desires, wants, and to get them met. Like that's we live in a vast universe. Like the universe is always listening, and it's like your goals, desires is on a frequency, and the, the quicker that you match that frequency, the quicker you can have what you want. So that's what I'm saying. It's just a matter of like he has to put himself where he sees himself. It may take time for him to get where he wants to be. But it's possible, and it's great to have something to work towards. I think in your 20s, I that's how you don't squander your 20s, is to really, you do the physical work and the inner work, and you will be unstoppable for the rest of your life. If you just focus on one and neglect the other, it might set you back, which is why I think if he got with a good woman, though, sometimes men tend to just focus on just the physical and neglect themselves, but... If he have a good woman in his corner, she'll make sure that won't happen, which will help him achieve his goals faster. And then he will feel even more indebted to her. Like, he'll feel indebted to God that he found a woman he was looking for, but then indebted to her because she assisted him so much. So it's like, damn, God, damn you. Like, oh, my God. Between the both of y'all, like, a man is set. I mean, I'm, I'm set. A man is set. A king is set. Jump in, jump in. Alright, this is the end of the video. Jump in, jump in.